My name is Carolyn Schlebeck, and I'm the graduate member coordinator for the Grad Suite, the graduate student community for the Society of Women Engineers. We are comprised of graduate students and professionals that work to provide resources for graduate students across the society. Find out more information at gradsuite.sui.org. Today, I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to create a professional social media presence that can be used to network, find new job advertisements, find new outreach opportunities, or hear about new exciting research. Uh, so the first thing that we'll do is discuss the different platforms that you can pick. As you can see, I have Twitter up here. I think this tends to be more professional. You can find your own niche for your research or your work, um, and it, it's a lot easier to connect with people that you don't already know. Uh, you can also use things like Instagram or Facebook. Uh, so my friend Anna has a great Instagram where she's able to connect with a lot of um, non-STEM users. Uh, so she's does a lot of science outreach about microbes um, and features a lot of different scientists. So you can see here, she actually features um, an individual from her lab um, and tags them with Microbe Mondays. Uh, so on Twitter, you get a lot less um, outreach to people who aren't already in the STEM fields, but it helps to network there. So everything I'm gonna show you today is gonna be focused on Twitter, but can be extrapolated out to other platforms as well. Uh, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do in creating your platform is choose a name that uh, accurately represents your own name or is an easy way for people to search you. And then you can pick a nice headshot and a nice student little description here where you can tag the universities that you're in, uh, any activities that you're involved in. So I have SWE listed here. You can also put a website um, and other information as well. So after you set up the bare bones of your platform, you're gonna wanna go and find yourself a Twitter role model or a social media role model. So for me, that was my advisor. So I'm gonna show you her platform. Uh, and so I went to her page and looked at what kinds of things she's tweeting and I decided these are uh, the things that I would like to be tweeting and this is kind of how I would like my platform to look. So I look, looked at who she follows and what types of things that she would come up on her feed. Uh, and this was really helpful. Again, these little short descriptions are key in helping you uh, identify people that you wanna follow. So make sure that yours is very representative as well. So now after I collected all of this and I have a good base of followers and know exactly um, what kind of content I want to do. Um, I'll go back to my page and so, show some examples of tweets. You'll want to make sure that you're tagging uh, organizations and other individuals effectively when you're tweeting. So uh, if you have questions, make sure you're tagging the right groups. So I had a question last week, so I tagged the SWE uh, graduate community page, and then I also tagged some groups called Future PI Slack and Grad Slack. And because I did this, these organizations then retweeted me and they put my my tweet on the uh, feeds of other people who follow them. And so this was able to increase my visibility and I was able to get some responses to my questions that I wouldn't normally have gotten. You can also use hashtags. So um, you can tag different conference uh, hashtags or other um, activities. So I'll show you one from a conference I attended last year. Um, this is the Orthopedic Research Society meeting. And so if you're not at the conference, you can use the conference hashtag to follow what's going on during the conference, or you can go back after and uh, use it for networking. So you can see um, what kinds of things people were putting up. A lot of times people will put up information about their own research. So this person posted um, a picture of them with their poster and they were able to share some of the work that they did at the conference in that way. Um, so these are effective things that you'll wanna keep in mind uh, that you're using while you're uh, creating the content. And so now that you know how to put out content, uh, it's good to set a goal for yourself. So my personal goal is to look at Twitter um, at least every other day. And I usually just do this uh, when I'm on the bus. I just pull it up and I go through for like 10 or 15 minutes on my way up to campus. Um, and so it keeps me up to date on what's going on with the people that I follow. And then I, my second goal is how often I would like to put out content. So personally, I try and do once a week. So that way I'm staying active, people are still seeing me, um, even if they don't see me every single week, they'll you know, be uh, seeing my name and things like that. And so even if you have a very boring week in lab or you feel like you don't have anything to talk about, you always do. You can talk about podcasts, you can uh, tweet different articles that you found. I tweeted about uh, teaching a group fitness class and added some content. And you'll notice when you add content, you'll probably get more likes. People uh, like to engage better with pictures. Um, and so remembering that if you don't self-promote, no one's going to do it for you. However, we try and help you as much as we can at GradSuite, and we actually have graduate member spotlights where we feature uh, people in our community. So we just did one recently on Andrea, and you can see here we link to a full blog post. It's a full page of information about her, her research, um, what she likes to do, 
Um, and it's a great way that you can actually self-promote. So you can get this article written up and uh, retweet it on your own social media platforms um, and expand uh, what people know about you. And so if you'd like to submit one, uh, feel free to go to our website, gradsv.sv.org and submit some information. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll be posting additional uh, tips and tricks uh, if anyone is interested. Thank you. Thank you.